Hey everyone, welcome back to Aquaponic Gardens. Here I am building another project for another customer. Um, this is going to be one of the plant beds. This is about six meters long. Oh, sorry, yeah, six meters long. Um, this is three meters long. Pump we put in here, pump the water up into this fish tank and this fish tank. This is for the baby fish. This big one is for the big tilapia. The solid slitting overflow will go through there. I'll show you the other side in a minute. This is for the baby fish. Smaller holes are drilled in the o that's the safety overflow, and holes are drilled around the sides and in the bottom end cap as well. Um, water will flow through to here. This will have one of my drum filters in it. You now the water will come in here, circulate around, and come back to here, and there'll be a self-cleaning drum filter. That will flow through into the next tank, which will be the biofilter. Um, the biofilter will have enough medium to hold um, approximately 1,200 fish in the system. This is how the water works. Overflow through there. This one's set on a 45 degree angle. Give it, always use 45 degrees, that's a 90, but try and always use 45s if I can. This is the tea stook. T piece with a 45 degree angle. This really gives the water a shove. It's got a 3% fall through to this bend here. You can see another 90 degree. But there is no pressure on these systems and the water will flow into there like I showed you before. And um, yeah, that's the filter system. We'll be done with LED lamps um, over the beds. You see the chains are all set up. Lights will be roving up to Christmas. Um, it's a couple of days till Christmas now. As per usual, I'm working my little bum off. These tanks were before used for sugar. As you can see, that stuff down there is pure sugar, 100% sugar. Um, I haven't got around the cleaning tanks, so we don't have water here at the moment. Um, we'll be hooked up in the next day. Um, come to Basin there, so you can do cleaning and so, splashboard, and yeah. Uh, so, um, thanks for watching, and um, we're going to be starting our new um, 600 quadrat, 600 square meter farm in the start of January. Um, we've already started delivering all the materials, been ordering, delivering, delivering, and ordering, and um, yeah, things are moving along quite nicely. I have, as I said, uh, sorry, these, we'll get back to where I was. These two tanks are hooked up with a 50 millimeter pipe. Just go down onto the ground, across, and back up into here. It means this tank and this tank, these two tanks, are hooked up together. So when my pump is put in there, this is one big reservoir. We'll only drop a few centimeters by the time the water comes back through. It's a gravity fed system. Um, and over here, at this end, there'll be an overflow put in to here. Goes down the ground, back up, and over. Um, basically, it's a one pump system, no fail system. Um, I like these sort of systems. One pump is always better than two. One pump fails, you're in big trouble. Um, it's a bit shitty, the plants are on the ground, but they're not so far off the ground, this is uh, about 40 centimetres off the ground. They're not quite sitting on the ground, you can't quite see it there, but they're up off the ground a little bit. Let's air circulate underneath these boards as well. And um, as you can see, this is rock solid material. Um, got a nice white canter going around the edge of this one, make it look a bit prettier. Every system I build gets a little bit better. Um, the customer will be arriving any minute, so i um, going to get back to work. Thanks for watching guys, and um, stay tuned for the big farm. Big farm will take about four, three to four weeks to build. Um, we're going to produce about 20 tonnes of fish per year, and a few five, six hundred plants per, per, per week. But I'm going to try and push that up per day. Um, at the moment we don't have the funding for the plants. It's going to set up mainly as aquaculture, and with the plant filter, 
Um, and then in the end, we'll make it hopefully about 99% recirculated water. Like um, the, the, the drum filter uses a bit of water. There's not much we can do about that. Um, I like to take away all the fish poo as much as possible out of the system when I've got so many fish in the system. There's always enough suspended solids in the water to feed the plants. Um, we've got a lot more fish than plants. It's mainly an aquaculture system with a plant filter. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the big farm and check, check out my late, my next video. This will be how to heat a hothouse in the middle of winter in Switzerland with no power. My whole hothouse runs on 35 watts of power, that's for the pump. And I don't use any air pump, only a water pump. And I'm heating it with a compost system. Um, I built one in another town here and they still have 25 degrees inside the hothouse. And I thought, well, hey, I'm going to build one for myself now. Um, working very, very good. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Have a nice day. Merry Christmas.